Hello and welcome to my my playthrough of XCOM. This is the second episode, and currently we are trying to defend Earth from aliens. Uh, we're XCOM. We're extra. I believe it stands for for extraterrestrial command or X extreme. Uh, I'm going to say it stands for extreme command. Um, in the second episode of our of our game, and we have currently lost one soldier. We lost Lindsay, uh, sauntering walk, on the first operation against a sectoid with zero kills and one mission. One mission under her belt. Didn't go very well. Um, we are hiring more soldiers, and we hope we'll probably replace her later on into the levels as we as we get new soldiers. In fact, we can do that right now. She will not be moving out very soon. We're going to replace Bridget Walsh. We'll get, call her Lindsay Sauntering Walk. So now we don't have much money to spend. But we do have some med packs. We've got four med kits. We've got some research happening, reception weapon fragments, and we've also bringing in some more ships. We've currently hired eight soldiers to come in to expand our lists, and we have not a whole lot going on here. I don't believe we have. Oh, we have a satellite to launch. Let's launch a satellite in South Africa. Oh, actually, let's launch it in the United States. Can we get more money? More money is good. There we go. Just launching a shatter satellite. Satellite? A satellite would be if William Shatner was on it. I don't think think people are on satellites though. Anyway, now we're ready. We've got that team. We're going to send out. So, oh, Alexei Petrov. That is a male. We can make that another member of the team. This is going to be Jim. Jimmy the shovel. Awesome. We've got some more soldiers coming in. Lian Ho, that also sounds like a man. Ruben. Ruben is going to be Carlos Sage. Another Patreon. Every member of the team is a patron um, to my, my um, current patron campaign, which helps me continue making these videos, making podcasts, paying for server, server stuff. And this is going to be Zach. Zach. Wolf. Everything that I do is paid for out of my own pocket and, and you guys supporting me really helps. So I'm paying back. We're giving you guys a little bit of entertainment here. Uh, so. On with that entertainment then, I guess. Our next battle. It's a new, a new lift. Lifts are good. We are going to hopefully have an engagement coming up soon. We've got weapon fragments, so we can do some more research now. We can make a scope. I want us to be able to make experimental war Experimental warfare. Actually, let's go with alien materials. That sounds useful. As I said before, I'm not really... I'm not really that good... Ooh, okay. So we've got UFO contact. We're going to scramble interceptors. We'll scramble the Raven 2. Because Raven 2 sounds more impressive than the Raven 1. And hopefully this will lead to our first... Our first, um... Another engagement. Alright, so here we go. We've got our interceptor there fighting an alien UFO, and it went down. Oh, well done, Raven 2. Went down pretty quick. And there's our soldiers clapping and being very happy about how that went. So now you know what that means. We're going to, need to send our Sky Ranger to take them out. We're not going to send a full team. We're going to send rookies again. Because we need to get some rookies trained up. We're going to send Jim the Shovel. We're going to send Zack Wolf. We're going to send Seiji. And we're also going to send... Well, I guess we've got no other members of the team that need to go. So we'll send someone here that can actually keep our troops alive. We're going to send... We'll send Malinor with them. And we're going to give Malinor a med kit. We're also going to give Seiji a med kit, just in case. Two people with grenades is also useful. Here we go. That's a launch, and we're going after that Sky Ranger. Begin assault. Here we go. We're in a Burger King, it looks like. Um, the ship crashed in a Burger King. The most grievous thing of things that aliens could have done to our soldiers. I've actually never done a, a an invasion or a, a mission like this. Why are we not getting the dialogue from those so from the soldiers? Actually, that might be why. 
I never noticed. Let's turn that up as well. Hopefully that sounds better now. Moving to position. Acquired. Alien object in There we go. That sounds more, more, more life. lifeful. More realistic. All right, so we've got Zack Wolf there. We need to get these guys into cover. We're going to move Seiji up there. I want, my, what I like is getting everyone into full cover. So I feel less likely they're going to die. And I really don't like the idea of them dying, to be honest. So, Malinor up there. And so Malinor can actually take a shot at that guy. At least, like, I'm going to go for that one. That one. Malinor missed spectacularly. I'm going to go for that one again. And good kill there by Zack. Well done. This guy needs to kill. Ideally. Oh, those strong bullets take down a wall. Try firing on him again with no kills. But we now know that one of them is dead, and that one has no partner. So he's probably going to escape. Or at least run away. Do the thing. I like keeping everyone in full cover, so I'm going to move Zack through that window. Him on oversight. Overwatch, sorry. Because he's on. Alright. So. Move Zack over to the oh, that we'll target position that now. That should get him. There's a little bit more coverage of the room. More vision. Vision's nice to have. Yeah, yeah, come on, you. Give me a shovel up there. Come on, Overwatch. Now he can see you inside there. I'm going to move. No. De acuerdo. I want to get that middle of the house again. Okay, so now we've got... I'm going to dash Zack up there. That metal. Still no alien, so... Put Zack on overwatch. I'm going to move... Jimmy to... That wall. Not in full cover there, but... Again, more coverage. I'm going to put... More. Ah, so we know they're up there. Shh. You that? Got it. Nice one, one, more one more melt. One more melt. Heading it out. Jimmy, move to that wall. Head over. Put him on Overwatch. I believe Overwatch means if. If I activate them on my turn as well, they won't. They won't. They'll get shot at. But I'm not certain, so I want to keep it relatively safe. Yes, sir. That was cool. I was down there next to the jukebox, we making we were playing music. You guys see that? If you move Seiji up there go. next to that wall, next to that door, push that open. Alright, so it looks like the, the enemy ship has crashed in there, doesn't it? Put Jimmy there. If we move, if we put Malinor. Let's move Got Zach up next to that door. Let me shovel up there. Still nothing. All right, we're gonna start moving towards crash, crash that ship. Count up there. Where, that's where the sound's coming from. So we've got this guy. We've got Carlos. We'll save you. Let's move. I never really like moving someone more than yeah, once when I can't see anything else because it just makes it, I know that an alien's going to come and just snipe them in the face. It would suck. Recibido, señor. But like, we've already lost one soldier so far in this campaign. I don't particularly want to lose another. Heading to that location. But it's not this early in the map. Alright, here we go. There's another, another sectoid. One Zach. There we go, two kills from Zack so far. 
All right. So we've got this guy. That's it. Move him up. Move Jimmy up there. So he's on overwatch now, so we can't move until if he if he sees us, we can't move. Which isn't good. He needs to go away. Seems safe to be us. There we go. Well done, safety. So now our guys can move. We're gonna be reckless. Not reckless, but we're gonna be a little bit more aggressive. Zach up there. He's not so much. Alright, that should work. It would have worked if Zach, if Zach could come to the fire again. Got an ethereal. So these guys. Those guys are dangerous. They're not dangerous per se, they're more. Like, they're. They've got more health and they can they're faster and they can move further. Ah! And that's Malinor taking taking a shot to the face again. I believe he can heal himself first. You see his gun is so much more powerful than the ones that um, our other guys are holding. Will do. Or the ones that their other guys were holding. Alright, we can either let's kill him. Because if we can kill him. Chalk up another one. There we go. Lost no soldiers that time. Everyone survived. And we got both canisters of meld and no, but no, again, nobody died. Nobody dying is, is, is personally my favorite thing in these levels. I appreciate that the most. Got two upgrades. We've got Sage is now an assault, which is good. And we have Zach. Support. So our support's gonna be ones carrying medics. Med packs, sorry. Got badges. We've unlocked. Beam weapon. We now research beam weapons, which sounds useful. It's coming here. I'm gonna view the memorial. Once again, there's Lindsay. Dead. Uh, and then we've, we've got Malinor down here, who we're going to rename. Chris. Oh no. Yeah. Malinor. Alright. Uh, that time, no dead soldiers. But we do have the ability to assign medals now. The urban combat badge, which. I can either assign defense or cover. And we've also got the defender's medal, which I can also make it heal more and never panic as a result. We'll figure that out next episode. If you enjoyed this playthrough or you didn't, if you enjoyed this episode, hit that follow button. If you didn't enjoy it, give it another go next episode. I really appreciate your guys' support, and you can follow me on Twitter at AddyAgbos. Hit the subscribe button if you had fun, and let me know if there's anything you want me to improve or any other games you want to see. If you want to see yourself in the game itself, hit up my Patreon, which is also in the link below. 
Thanks so much for watching. Have a great one. All right, guys. Bye-bye.